Hi everyone, this quick video is for those of you doing the starch test for the first time and I'm just going to quickly walk you through the steps on how to do that. I've got my 10 fruit sample and these are representative of the fruit in this block of this variety which is Honeycrisp and uh, what I did was selected these fruit from both sides of the tree and also from different uh, outside areas of the tree. So these are representing the what I would say are uh, first pick apples, but I made sure to um, you know, distribute this sample um, from around the tree. Over at my workstation now, I've got the 10 fruit sample and I'm going to cut each of these apples in half and only save half to do the iodine solution test. So stay tuned and uh, we're gonna cut these fruit. So here's my fruit cut in half, and I like to keep the fruit in a container, it just helps to keep it contained, but I also like seeing the white background because it just helps to standardize uh, the ratings. Once we spray the iodine solution on, it's a little easier to see the pattern I find when I've just got a basic white background. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my iodine solution, and uh, if you wanted, you would have picked up a kit from Perennia, um, which includes the iodine solution, the instructions, and also all of the safety information that you should pay close attention to, because iodine solution is uh, very poisonous. So I'm going to uh, just use the spray bottle. I find this method really easy to just um, kind of thoroughly cover the fruit surface just go through with the pass there and then what I'm going to do now is set my timer for one minute and meet you back after a minute. Okay so the sample has sat for a minute and that gives it time for the iodine to uh, stain the starch uh, black, blackish blue and so now we're starting to see the pattern um, and we can begin rating. So you're going to take your starch iodine chart and uh, look at the pattern of staining. So um, the first three ratings are mainly the core stain. So you see that the sugars are starting to convert in the core area. And then um, kind of from three to eight here, we also start, start to see a flesh stain change. And uh, this is where clear represents sugars and black represents starch. So uh, yeah, if you look at the apple samples here, um, we can see that we're starting to get a little bit of starch movement to sugars in the core of some of these fruit. Um, but also um, there are fruit where it's still completely filled with starch. So we would go through and rate this and uh, then what you would do is with those ratings, you would then average the 10 ratings and that would represent the starch index for your block.